All right, so let's check your forecast now. Today was the day we saw our first flakes and it did stick in some spots. I was kind of, uh, I mean, not caught off guard, Pete, because I always pay attention to you, but there is something <laughs> about that first day that you go, what? Pete, I was not caught off guard. because you <laughs> We talked about specifically at 11 last night that we would all see mm. at least this kind of slushy dusting, and that's what we really, really came through. Right, and yes, and it did melt off during the course of the day as we were above freezing. But yes, some big fat flakes of snow everywhere in many spots, at least briefly, especially on lawns and vehicles, did see that accumulation. So is there any more? And what's next? Let's get to it. So that was actually, for the season, our first, uh, th first accumulating snow. We also had our first 30s, if you remember, on October 30th. So that was a first that we already got, and that was actually a new record by a week. Our first accumulating snow in the books, officially three-tenths of an inch of snow. You might be wondering, oh, it seems early. Well, guess what? On average, we typically get our first accumulating snow, which means a tenth of an inch or more, on November 4th. Well, November 1st, that's pretty close. We've gotten the first accumulating snow as early as October 1st and as late as December 11th. So, all things considered, I know it's hard to believe, this is about right on schedule. We still haven't gotten below 32 yet, but I think we have a couple of opportunities by tomorrow morning and the following morning to do that. So when we had those bursts of snow, we had a fairly intact band. Right now, it's multiple bands of cells because that's what happens during daytime heating. Things get kind of broken up. But still with the northwest wind through a good chunk of the next several hours, probably through at least midnight to 2 a.m. between now and then, we're still going to have an opportunity for redeveloping scattered snow showers, flurries, and maybe a brief, steadier batch of snow in some spots. And you'll see this on the future cast. There it is still scattered at 8. And then you still see there's a band trying to reform. It should be most organized east of Lake Ontario at daybreak and then moving further north into the far north country during the course of midday. You might be wondering, okay, well, how much new snow are we going to get? Here you go. Most spots are going to wind up with a fresh trace, which is snow falls but doesn't stick, to a dusting to an inch. That's the gray area. The best chance of getting at least an inch or more, some of the higher elevations here of Onondaga and Cuga County, and also as those bands of snow reform late tonight through tomorrow morning, let's keep an eye east of Lake Ontario from Mexico to Pulaski, Sandy Creek, Lacona, Richland, up through Dexter, and even uh, towards Southwick Beach, possibly an inch or more of snow. So sun in the morning gives way to some cloud cover midday and afternoon. We should be in the mid or upper 40s for Thursday. We'll just be in and out of clouds Thursday night as a weak system comes through. Friday is probably our best day, both sky-wise and temperature-wise. Sunshine mixes with thinner clouds, and I think we're in the mid to upper 50s. That's quite enjoyable. And we should be okay, by the way, for Friday evening activities, including the SU football game. There is a small system that's kind of edging southward. The best chance of rain late Friday night and Saturday morning is north of Syracuse, but I have a feeling that cloud cover will be dominant Saturday with a chance of some sprinkles and or light rain from time to time. High 55. Don't forget to set the clocks back Saturday night. Sunday clouds, limited sun, some new showers, 57. Don't forget Tuesday is election day and right now we've got some rain and a high of 50. Stanley Law Skywatch. Well, right now we're not in any snow showers, but just be aware of a few of those passing through overnight. And if you happen to see a quick slushy coating, just drive a little extra slow back inside.